2023 planner setup. Here we go. Did you guys think I wasn't using a planner anymore? Of course not. I will always be a paper planner girl. I will always have a paper planning system. I have incorporated digital throughout the years, but I will always love my pen and paper. I truly believe there is magic when you put pen to paper. So welcome to my channel. Welcome to my first video of 2023. You know that I believe February is the new January. I have been talking about this for years. So I really take the month of January to work through things like this, get my planner set up, figure out what system I want to have um, and ease into the year. So for me, this is kind of like the start of the new year, although I also believe that you can really start fresh any time. It doesn't have to be a new year, doesn't have to be a Monday, doesn't have to be beginning of the month. Anytime that you want, you can start fresh. All right, let's do this. So speaking of February being the new January, I kind of rushed out and bought this planner sometime November, December-ish and just thought, okay, this is going to be my system. This is my planner. I need a planner. I need to get organized for the new year. Um, and I very quickly realized that this is way too small for me. So I absolutely love this layout. I love that it has the week on one side and then notes, um, an area over here where you can put, you know, your task, your notes, uh, care, connect, focus, all that is there. So I love that um, this has a really nice layout, but this was not cutting it for me. So again, I like to take some time, find a system that works for me. So I very quickly realized that this was out. All right, so no longer using this. This lasted not even, maybe about a week. And then I was like, okay, I can't do this. So quickly got rid of that. And this is my trifecta. This is the system that I settled on that I am absolutely loving. So right off the bat, you will notice the five minute journal. This has been one of my greatest intentions this year is to journal no matter how big or how small. If you're not familiar with this journal, it's really lovely. Every page is the same layout. What changes is kind of the quote at the top. You fill in the date. It has a space at for your morning reflections and journaling and then your evening. It's really quick. It's really easy. Um, and I do consider this a part of my planner setup because for me, planning is something that helps me accomplish my goals. It helps me be successful. It helps me get things done in my life. And I consider this journaling and wellness um, a part of that as well, because if I don't take care of myself, I can't accomplish my goals. So this very much is a part of my system. It has become a part of my planning routine because I do this in the morning before I ever even look at my planner. So this is a very integral part of my planning process. Um, I want to take time in the morning, in the evening to reflect and in the morning to um, set my intentions for the day. So that's why I chose to include this in my planner setup because this is a non-negotiable for me now. So again, the quote at the top, three things I'm grateful for, what would make today great, and my daily affirmations. And then in the evening reflection, three amazing things that happened today. How could I have made today even better? So I'll leave this linked down below for you. All right, here is the planner that I settled on. This is from the Home Edit. I have never um, purchased any of their products before, but I was really, really pleasantly surprised by this. Initially, I just loved the cover. I have to say that's really what drew me to it. I'm not usually a colorful girl, but I just loved this planner um, cover. It's just a really pretty um, heart pattern. Half the heart is green, the other half is blue. So it was just cute. Um, so I loved the pattern and I love the size of this. This is a full sheet, eight and a half by 11. Um, and I just take a lot of notes. I write things out. Um, I will show you how I use it, but I needed the space. Again, the other one was just too small for me and I really needed this space. So this is a really great planner. I'm going to put this aside 
and show you in just a second. But spiral bound, again, another must have for me. I have tried every system under the sun, disc bound, ring bound, um, you name it, I've tried it. And I just go back to spiral. Um, I have had quite a planning journey. If you've been with me from the beginning, I have been making YouTube videos for over 10 years, which by the way, if you are completely new and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you join me here, my YouTube community. You can also connect with me all over the internet. I'll have everything linked down below for you. So anyway, I've been on this long journey, different planners, and right now, this phase of my life, um, as usual, I just have a lot happening and I need a large planner. Um, all right, let's talk about just the specifics of this. Again, a huge eight and a half by 11, really, really pretty. It has a front pocket in here and it does come with some stickers. Um, you know, just the basics this planner belongs to. It does have some things in the beginning, some pages to fill out, not things that I probably will be doing, but low bar lifestyle, life goals. I'm not familiar with the life edits uh, methodology, if you will, so I didn't really purchase it for all of these things, but if you're into it and you're into um, their system, there's a lot of great um, worksheets at the beginning that you can go through. So let me show you guys kind of how it works. There's tabbed months, which I love. Um, and each month has this little cover page. And I was, again, really into this because I want to make a vision board, mood board for every month. So I plan to use this. Maybe I'm not going to fill up the whole page. I don't know. But I want to have something where I can really be intentional before the start of every month. Um, and so I loved that it kind of had this cover page so I can use this, um, you know, maybe print out some pictures, which I'm going to show you what I'm using for that um, and just kind of fill up this page. All right. And then you go into the monthly spread. It is um, the whole month on two pages lots of room. I don't care for the lines, but they're light enough that it doesn't really bother me. Um, but again, just a really nice size. It does have a little bit of note space on the left. Um, and then I also don't really love the colors, but that's okay. We're just going to kind of go with it. Each month has a different color. So as you can see, um, when you finish the month and go in like this August is kind of this darker blue September's purple so every month has its own color okay then we go straight into the week now this is a horizontal um, spread and a I don't really um, have a preference. Well, I do. If My preference is usually a vertical spread layout, but um, I like this horizontal because I do kind of use it vertically. So I kind of look at this left side of the page um, as the... I don't want to say appointments because I keep all of my appointments digitally, but if there's just like a really big thing for the day that I need to remember, that goes right there. Um, and then this to-do list, I use this as just a big running to-do list. So it's kind of almost split in half. And this is a big running to-do list. I have it on both sides of the page. Um, and then there are uh, little sections at the bottom. It says things I must do, things I postponed but need to get done, bonus points if I get these done, and then just do next week. I don't really use this system for any, or this um, section for really anything in my system. So really, it's mostly the to-do list. If I have a big thing in a day that I need to look at, um, I'll put that here, but I don't keep appointments on paper planners. I have not for several years now. I keep a digital um, calendar on my phone and that's where appointments go. Anything that requires me to be somewhere. And then I also am very proactive in my planning in that I also will time block on my Google Calendar. I will assign tasks to certain times. Um, so I will, you know, schedule and block out certain times to complete tasks. So to me, that is what a planner is. It's not just a calendar where you put appointments or things that are tied to a time, but you also go in and schedule tasks and schedule blocks of time to accomplish things that you want to work on. So 
This goes through the weeks. And then when you get to the end of the month, it has a little month in review. And um, we are just nearing the end of January. So I don't really know how I'm going to use this yet. I'm not really sure. Um, it says things I did, gold stars, things I did but didn't have to, extra credit, things I didn't do, it's fine. And then things I absolutely had to do so need to do next month it's not going to be fine that's funny so anyway it's a pretty simple um, planner for the most part it does just have kind of this little fun cover which I liked um, another thing that I really want to do with my planner and I've kind of already started doing this with the month of February is putting little Easter eggs in my planner and what I mean by that is going through every month so I'll go through and maybe look in the month of August and I'll go through each week and just put little hidden gems in here, little Easter eggs so that when I find them, um, I will be surprised and I'll love it. And that could be things like affirmations, um, little stickers, maybe a picture, just whatever fun little things that will bring a little bit of happiness. I think affirmations are probably um, what I'll put in here most. Um, and then my second thing that I really want to work on for planning and scheduling is to schedule um, self-care every single month. So really truly put it in my planner, put it in my calendar, devote the time to it, and it becomes a non-negotiable. So that is that planner. And then this is one that I just ordered recently. This is just a monthly planner from Emily Lay, the Simplified Planner. And um, I had never really purchased any of her products before, but what I was looking for was a monthly calendar. I wanted it just to be monthly, but I wanted it to be followed by notes pages. I had that system in Planner Perfect, um, which I love. I still really love Planner Perfect, but um, the size, I just needed something bigger and I haven't, um, Planner Perfect doesn't have the size for me that I need. I needed something large. So I ended up going with this. Um, this is just all months. It's just month after month. The note pages are at the back, which I wish that the notes pages were in between the months. If you guys know of any note pages that are in between the months, please let me know. I would love that. Um, but until then, this is working for me just fine. And this is my content calendar, um, my editorial calendar. So I plan all of my content in here. In case you didn't know, I am a licensed attorney um, and I also create content all over the internet. So um, you can keep up with me on Instagram, Amazon, all these places. I have a live show on Amazon. So um, all of my content is organized here. And for the most part, my focus really is on content creation um, at the moment. And so I needed something that I could organize that in. And I love the way these two look together. I just think they're so fabulous. So that is my system there. I wanted to show you guys a couple of fun things. First up is this Kodak camera. Now this looks like it's just a camera, um, but it's also a printer as well. So you can take a camera, you can take a photo here. Um, this is actually a real camera, but then it will print your photos out here, which I love. I really have been wanting to do memory keeping um, and I love that I can do that with this Kodak. So this is definitely a new upgrade to me. Kodak did send this camera to me, but um, I have just absolutely been loving it. I love that it will print the pictures and you don't have to take the pictures on here. You can just print them. So anyway, I love this. This has been a huge part of my planning routine. And then... Another fun accessory that I had to share with you guys. Oh my goodness, I love these so much. Okay, first of all, clear sticky notes. Look at all of these colors of clear sticky notes. How beautiful are these? And I mean, they are really clear. Okay, let me show you guys a little um, demo here of what it looks like. So. I use these in a variety of different ways, but see, here you go. It's clear. You can see right through it. Um, so what I usually do is I will put a sticky note um, in the monthly layout and I can just jot down things if I know that I need to focus on them. Um, 
and so then I can get to it later. So I love to use sticky notes in the monthly layouts, but I mean, look at how beautiful these are. So many different pretty pastel colors. Look at this like kind of neutral one. I just love these, love, love, love them. So I've been using these all over. And then these highlighters, look at these highlighters and they are so pretty. I mean, look at these colors. If you were looking for aesthetic highlighters, look at these like just beautiful khaki colors light pastels, very aesthetic, very beautiful. Um, I do color code a little bit, mostly in my content calendar. I will color code, um, you know, for different social media channels. Um, but just, I just like to highlight, usually at the end of the week, I will go through my to-do list that I have written um, here. And I'll look and see, like once it gets to about Thursday, I'll kind of go through my scribbled out list and I will just highlight the ones that still need to be accomplished. And then um, if they still don't get done by the end of the week, then I will use another highlighter to just kind of draw an arrow and move them to the next week. So this is really, um, in this calendar, I put my actual action items, like things that I need to get done. This is not for my master task list. So if you want to know more about how I manage my to-do list, um, let me know and I can do another video explaining that. Okay, that is it. That is my planner setup for 2023. Will I change my setup? Probably at some point I will, but for right now, I am just loving all of this. It is keeping me organized, keeping me productive. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. I'll have everything linked down below and I'll see you real soon. Bye.